Okay, someone translate for me. What does Kusondeka mean in English? Yeah, Word 54 on Facebook, Word 54 channel on Twitter, hashtag is Social Friday. I really hope you're enjoying yourself. To make one of the first interview with two. Did you see her with the fro? Hey, her hair was just prospering. And, and the guy was really cool. Yeah, if you missed it, Word 54 channel on YouTube. Meanwhile, my name is Valentine, or at Color Meva, as in Valwama Colors, on these social media platforms. I'd like to hear from you. Really, I would. If you really kind of looking into having this as your career, this animated situation. Because the theme is animation, so ask away. Yeah, now let's say hi to our next guest. Hi. Hello. Hello, sir. How are you? Fine, thank you. It's really fantastic. Uh, as you can see, he's very handsome. Yeah, and he also just happens to be one of our very, very talented presenters in this house. Tell them what you do first. So, I'll start with my name. Okay. My name is Abdul Razak Ingutia. Mm -hmm. I am a presenter here. I have a show that is called Al Nasheed, and it's going to be airing today at 5 p.m. So make sure to catch up with that show. And also, I do 3D modeling and animation. I think that's why I'm here. I'm a three artist. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a 3D artist and writer and a little bit of everything inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now that DJ spins on uh, something that is 3D, does that make him a 3D artist? Mm, well, there's 3D sound, and the DJ is giving us good 3D sound. <laughs> but I can look better. Safa. Mommy, look, put up one yumba. We're not just an animal. It's a DJ Blaze. DJ Blaze. We're talking about Basan. Eh, we are sorry. <laughs> eh, okay. Salim Abdul. Eh, Salim. Eh. Niaje. Basan. Have you been here? <laughs> oh no, go Bob. He's a very cool guy. Yeah. Now, when I'm asking is that animation is over to. I want to start after Swali na mali. Badai. Sawa. So, for example, what is animation? What's this 3D thing? What is a 2D? So, in 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 graph in CGI, mm -hmm. which is computer generated imagery, there is a 3D and 2D animation. Mm -hmm. 2D animation is like cartoons where you don't have uh, 3D objects that are shown on air or on the, on the, on the picture. Mm -hmm. Now to break it down a little bit, uh, 2D is just anything like anything that's on flat surface like the white if I fall logo. Or wait, this is a perfect chance to show off. Yes, Come yes, wait. That's, that's 2D. <laughs> that's 2D. This is 2D. Yeah, uh -huh. so 2D is all about the dimensions. D is dimensions, so <laughs> there is uh, the length and the height for it. Mm -hmm. Now 3D has got uh, the depth of it, which is uh, length, width, and height. Mm -hmm. So it has three of them. For example, if you're looking at a, at a cube, you see all the three perspectives of it, and that's why it's called 3D. Mm -hmm. Now, animation mm -hmm. is about adding motion into a 3D object, which can be mm -hmm. a character or an object. Mm -hmm. So for a character, we use bonds and primitives, and, and to just break it down a little bit for the purpose of understanding for the viewer, mm -hmm. uh, a 3D, an amateur or a primitive mm -hmm. is bones, like a skeleton that you've got right now. Mm -hmm. So we work with joints on the primitives to make it move. Mm -hmm. We use stop motion. Mm -hmm. And I think you can remember when we were children, mm -hmm. we would draw an image of someone who is uh, seated down. Mm -hmm. And if we want him to jump, we draw on the next page an image of Aha, someone who's jumping like on you. <laughs> Yeah, and then it jumps, yeah, right? Yeah. That's stop motion. And uh -huh. it is an idea that was started by Walt Disney mm -hmm. uh, when he was establishing his animation career. Mm -hmm. That's stop motion. Now, when you're animating things like a clock or anything that rotates like a car tires, you would use drivers mm -hmm. for, for your animation. Yeah. So, in a nutshell, guys, you can see 2D, you can see 2D. 2? 3. Okay. <laughs> now, as I put this aside, yeah. help me understand. I've seen, let's start with school. Kitambo, I was in school, I was in school, and animation. And this was Kitambo, like, for a couple of years ago, five years ago. Yeah. And at the time, I didn't get it. And I looked at them, and I was like, what are you going to do? Like, what are you doing? Like, is it a gun? As in, where are you going to, how are you going to feed yourself? How are you going to live? Mm -hmm. But it's caught on, hasn't it? Yeah, it is. How would you say it has caught on? How far or how big is it now? The 3D industry is as big as any industry you can imagine. Mm -hmm. People always In think Kenya. that yeah. if you talk about 3D, you're talking about movies only. But 3D has gone into uh, 
adverts, for example, mm -hmm. the one that was being mentioned earlier of fiber, mm -hmm. and it has also gone into advertising uh, and uh, what else? Is it, is it ex ex yeah. Even, even pictures, someone who wants to give illustrations of their products will not require to, uh, to bring a, a photographer to take a picture for them. Mm -hmm. You will only have an animator or a 3D artist sit down mm -hmm. and visualize your concept and model it, texture it and give it good lighting and render it for you as an image. And you will not differentiate the dif uh, between a 3D image of say a gas cooker or a uh, a photography image of that wow. same item as well. That's as far as it's gone. Wow. I have noticed a type of trend. First of all, <clears throat> I am a meme lord. In Kukaribu Kwanza, Sokuchukua Rent, Nezovitu, but it's okay. Oh, what am I looking at? What you're looking at here is a galactic fighter. It's oh. a time lapse where I was uh, modeling a uh, a galactic fighter inspired by the movies that we watch like uh, Star Wars and all things like uh -huh. that. So it, it's, it's gonna move and, and there are so many 3D modeling applications that you can find. That's the start of it. You started with, I started with a small sphere, copied it and pasted it on the other side. Is this a tutorial or is this you? It is, it is me. The entire process? Yeah, the entire process is me. Look at you! Yeah, look at the bottom, you will see Razaki 3D. Uh -huh. So this is uh, the first video that I uploaded on my YouTube channel explaining how I modeled the Galactic Fighter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what I'm doing currently is modeling 3D assets, which mm -hmm. is a very important thing for a 3D artist. You must have your 3D assets if you're going to do any 3D job. Mm -hmm. and. And when you have your 3D assets, it means you can use them in, in various places. You can use this in uh, different projects, for instance. Mm -hmm. If you have a car, like a model of a Lamborghini or a model of a Toyota Prius, you can use it on as many projects as possible because Toyota Prius is a Toyota Prius as long as you have it. Abdul, I am a video editor. Yeah. And I know how long uh, three minutes can take to edit. You can take weeks or... or Hey, weeks and weeks and weeks, just video editing, you know, motion. Yeah. How long do you take to do this? Do you even sleep? What else do you do with your life? How are you even presenting Wait for Four No No Funny is Become My Well, well, I say that life is an expression, it's a quote of mine that is my mantra as well. Mm -hmm. And if you like something, you will just do it, you know. And you never lack time, you never need a schedule to do it. The Galactic Fighter you've seen, I underestimated it. I thought it was going to be a very, very short project. Mm -hmm. And I ended up spending four hours wow. on the first video, mm -hmm. four hours on the, sec on the second video. And I spent about an hour modeling this Gatling gun mm -hmm. to finish up the arming process of the, of the Galactic Fighter. So it took me a very long time and I decided to make it a time lapse because you cannot sit down on YouTube yeah. and watch a four minute video yeah, telling you so something cool. as technical as mm. this. Yep. Oh wow, look at you Abdul. This is so fancy. Okay, where does this go after? So like I told you, we model uh, assets mm -hmm. and I, ma I mentioned the example of a Toyota Prius. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, if anyone would slide into my Instagram, they will see a few, a few objects that I've created on my computer. Mm -hmm. I, I made a, a Lamborghini model. Mm -hmm. I also made a camera, a DSLR camera. I made a coffee mug Damn. and a donut with icing on top of it. So all of these things that we model as a 3D artist, you use it as your assets. Now assets come in handy when you're going into a huge project which has tight deadlines. Mm -hmm. If you have no assets, it means you'll have to go online and start purchasing assets. And that will be very time consuming. You might also not find what you're looking for. Uh -huh. And we have meshes, okay? Mm -hmm. So if you're modeling something, you, you, ha you have to understand your objects. You have to understand uh, the dynamics, the different parts of it. You might find someone has got a very good model mm -hmm. of, a, of a car mm -hmm. and you need a car in a project, but when you're animating it, you realize that you have triangles. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have triangles, that's gonna be very problematic. When you model it, it's going to start deforming when you, when you animate it. It will start. <laughs> the way things run uh -huh. on a green screen. It yeah, it's very weird. bleaching actually. Uh -huh. So you will need to understand your models. So uh -huh. having assets is a, is a very important aspect of 3D modeling. I am coming to the understanding that assets is basically a template. 
Yeah. No, no, no. Okay. No? So those are tools. Mm -hmm. But for assets, mm -hmm. like the galactic fighter you've seen here, mm -hmm. that's an asset. Mm -hmm. And I also modeled a coffee mug on phone as well. That's another asset. Please tell me you're making money off of this. Because that's that in four plus four, that's eight plus one more, that's nine. Yeah. That's a whole shift of an entire day. Please tell me you're making money off of it. Yes, yes. Actually, we sell models mm -hmm. on various sites. There is a, if I could mention them, sure. there is sketchfab.com mm -hmm. where we sell assets. Some of them are textured mm -hmm. and some of them are not. Mm -hmm. That's a flower vessel I was making. Mm -hmm. And also we, we have a table squid mm -hmm. where we sell acids. So it's a whole community where 3D artists interact and uh, purchase not only acids but also textures and lighting uh, programs for the same thing. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. All right. So if, let's say, Valentine was starting a, a film type of situation, a project, mm -hmm. and I needed couple of graphics yep. is that something in line with what you do yes yes it is definitely in line with what we do uh, <laughs> <laughs> How much do you imagine he would make just cook to four hours a lot was you no my son where son did you go to school for this did you learn or did you just it's, it's a hobby I, I started I, I consider myself an all-round artist because mm -hmm. I started uh, drawing realistic portraits when I was five wow. and I carried on doing it I, I went on to draw uh, to write poetry as well and I moved further into 3d modeling because I love film and I wondered how can I showcase my art mm -hmm. in something that people can relate to much more than just uh, 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 realistic pencil portraits mm -hmm. and so I learned myself on YouTube mm -hmm. I, I like calling it a uh, Google school of all knowledge wow. because you go to YouTube and you learn everything you I, I, and you and you you implement them the best thing about uh, 3d is that you can find open source software that is free applications mm -hmm. for you both your computer and your Android phone We'll talk about the Android phone later, wow. but for the computer you can find some Hollywood standard mm -hmm. modeling applications like Blender mm -hmm. and they've just released their newest version which is version 2.8 mm -hmm. which rivals um, commercial software for Hollywood animation. Mm -hmm. So I learned by myself and I like discovering and that's what I do with my what people call free time. Uh, easy free, it's expensive time, very expensive. Mm. Wow. Kuna video ya Blessed in Kingston, mekwe kitrend. So I'm, I'm really trying to figure out how you come into play with this. Because I can imagine, okay, there's a voiceover artist, uh, there's, there's a maybe Monyanandika script, eh? mm -hmm. the, the whole concept and everything. Yeah. But then there are also objects in that video that th there's the people themselves, you know, the, the little cartoon characters. And, uh -huh. and now when I see this, now it's coming to my mind like this Kuna Meza Mali, there's a cup of tea, and it's, it's all quite blending in very well. So, this mm -hmm. is where you come in, right? Yeah. With, uh, with the videos and all that. Mm -hmm. Now, let me wow. explain to you how the 3D animation pipeline works. Mm -hmm. What happens is we have the 3D artists who start with modeling the, the objects like I have done right uh, in, in all those videos you've seen. And then after that, there are some, uh, there is the previs or the previsualization of how the film is going to be. And then after that, that, the previs is, for someone who knows about uh, f uh, filmmaking, it's like, uh, what do you call it, this process, storyboarding. Mm -hmm. So when you... When and it's you, a lot of work. Yeah, it is. It is a lot of eh. work and, and that's why films cost expensive. Yeah. Eh. yeah. Okay, sorry. I, I digress. <laughs> sorry. So, so, mm -hmm. so the pre-visualization process or what we call in brief previs is like storyboarding for traditional filmmaking. Mm -hmm. So the previs shows a, f a series of uh, low uh, very few detailed uh, models mm -hmm. in their environment and then after that the voice of actors will now start acting mm -hmm. and and you know voicing the characters but now a 3d animator who will be adding the motions after the texturing and everything has been done and the compositing and the lighting has been done mm -hmm. uh, the 3d animator cannot animate before the voiceover artists speak mm -hmm. because you know you have to animate while following their the, the, the speech that they're i mean the speed of their speech mm -hmm. so 
after you visualize them i'm just you... imagining so much work sorry yeah 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 it is it is so much work and mm -hmm. it is also uh high resource uh demanding mm -hmm. but it has got to be done it's creative and it's it's art so Alternatively, because uh, the future of 3D is not only stop motion and all that, is having mock-up or mm -hmm. motion capture. Mm -hmm. for, for instance, uh, there is this movie that uh, has got, okay, all of them actually have got motion capture. <laughs> Which one in particular? Uh, Green Lantern mm -hmm. is, is one movie that, like that did not really do a good job with 3D. Why? Because oh. they, they 3D modeled the suits. There are some things we don't model in as much as we can, we can get good compositing and good materials and textures and lighting for it, uh -huh. we'd rather have an actual suit. Now, they did not do a good job because the lighting, you can tell there is a difference between the, uh, the actual lighting and the 3D lighting that they have mm. used on the film. Anyway, what I was going to explain is motion capture. So if you've got uh, uh, a, a suit like that of Green Lantern, he will be wearing an entirely grey suit mm -hmm. with uh, motion capture markers. The little thingy that... that okay. You see the dots, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but the suits I usually see are green. Yeah, they're they green. Some of them are grey. Bulging thingies. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Sorry, continue. Yes. <laughs> but it's, good. it's good. You've watched some behind the scenes, right? Yeah, yeah so the motion capture uh, markers, we call them markers, mm -hmm. they are used to help the computer to understand where the 3D hand is mm. and where the actor's hand actually is. Oh. And so the motion capture will, will do the job that a stop motion artist or an animator would have to do uh, for three hours or a whole month on a computer. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, I want you to give me like five movies that have impressed the socks off of you in well, terms of animation. There is Mowgli, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, The Jungle Book, Ooh. You've watched The Jungle Book. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Everything there is 3D. Wow. The mud, the rain, the cows, the lions, the little boy. Mm -hmm. Everything is 3D and you cannot tell. Wow. And then there's uh, the, pioneers, the pioneer movies of 3D animation are like Star Wars mm -hmm. and uh, Scorpion King. That was really funny. <laughs> I like the Scorpion King. <laughs> yeah, the Scorpion King was really good, actually. Mm -hmm. But uh, in the standards of that time, it was really, really good. Mm -hmm. But now it's it's not really good because <laughs> it's outdated. It, it, not only is it outdated, <laughs> but it has the uh, Dwayne Johnson's face looks mm -hmm. really plastic and rubbery. Mm -hmm. But it's still a very good movie. I like it because it's a pioneer in 3D modeling and animation. The next one is mm. Transformers. Finally, something we can connect on. Exactly. Oh my gosh. Mm, mm -hmm. yeah. Sorry. So I there is that. Uh, there is. Uh, I'll mention some movies that people will not really expect have got any 3D elements on it. For instance, uh, uh, this this film, Do London. I haven't watched that. Is it cool? Yeah, you should, you should watch it. It's really fantastic. It's uh, I'll watch it. a. a, a London itself, the city itself, mm. is, it's, on, it's, on, it's on trails, like chunk trails, and it's running wow. towards uh, an, wow. an ancient city, and they're fighting, both of them are fighting. Now, you would not expect, uh, if you've watched, uh, which one is this, mm. where Dwayne Johnson played a uh, tour guide, and there was this huge uh, gorilla, mm -hmm. and, a, and, a, and, a, and a crocodile, and other characters that were turned into giants and killer robots and, and, and killer characters, you will not notice that these animals Animate. are actually wow. animated. Mm -hmm. And that's a human being doing all that wow. action. It's not like the time of uh, the time of uh, Baby's Day Out when they would have to train the animals and all that. <laughs> to do something, yes. Yes. So. <laughs> Everything from hair, textures uh -huh. and brushes and everything that's been there is all animated. I have a very special place in my heart for cartoons cause, or cartoon movies or animated movies. I don't know which one is more politically correct, but I, I, it fascinates me. And, and how is it? Is it just bad planning or why is it? 
some movies mm -hmm. or some cartoons that I see that uh -huh. akiongea like mama ma, anenda tu hivi but anasema maybe Abdul Razak ingute but mama but there's some that you actually can spell out the words like I can see okay mm -hmm. why why is it such a big difference uh, the, the difference comes in from mm -hmm the kind of technology they used and the kind of concentration that the artists put on how the words are being pronounced. For instance, right now if I say oh, you'd see my lips form, my lips form an oh, right? But then, so with drawing, mm. you'd really have to draw all of that. That was in the past. But these days what happens is that mm -hmm. uh, applications, there are applications where you 3D model a 2D cartoon movie. Mm. I'm going to repeat that. Your hmm. 3D model, a 2D, 2D. cartoon movie. Uh -huh. uh, in Blender, because I am uh, more converse, conversant with Blender, mm -hmm. you would model a whole character and you decide what kind of textures and lighting to put on it mm -hmm. and you convert it into a cartoon. So if you convert it into a cartoon, you see the drawing outline and all that. Mm -hmm. But after more animating, even lips have bones in animation. So you have to remove the bones yes. yeah. with regards to how letters are being pronounced. Mm -hmm. But now the motion capture technology, which has been used uh, uh, in the recent uh, films that have been produced by Hollywood, mm -hmm. you'd realize that the O's are O's and the R's are R's, mm -hmm. unlike Ma Ma Ma, like you've said yeah. in the cartoons. Because the motion captures, uh, uh, the motion capture cameras on the actor's face would capture the movement of all the uh, expressions and everything that they're, they're pronouncing. I feel like such a good student, guys. I'm understanding. I feel like immediately in Kitokapa and that we hustle. Yeah. Are you feeling the same way? I tried to find Facebook at 254 channel on Twitter, hashtag a social Friday. Now, let me tell you something because I have exclusive access, okay, not exclusive, but I have access to uh, stars like Abdul Razak in Gutia. I did one day catch him tinkering on his phone. And you were, I think, modeling an AK-47. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Talk to me about that. How can you even do it on your phone? It, like, I, it's in my thinking that these softwares or these applications are quite heavy on any, you know, software system. So, kwangu ata najua, kisha ku edit, sana sana izi vitunzito, you have to have, you know, anything Apple. But uh -huh. now I'm coming to learn that, eh, ata kwa simu manze, ata si, lazima simu ikuwe na, yeah, talk to me. How, how is this magic happening? So, let me tell you a little bit of an emotive story. Mm -hmm. That's the AK-47 that mm -hmm. I was modeling on that day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, what happened is my computer crashed. Mm -hmm. And I had to flash back wait, to... Wait, wait, let's have a moment of silence. <laughs> that, that must have been devastating. So yeah, it was, it was really devastating. Did it you did, lose It did anything? not crash, actually. Okay. What happened was... Okay. The motherboard short circuited, which is much worse than crashing. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So what happened was, I was rendering an 11 second animation on my laptop, and it was a, 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 to a 500 GB internal storage, 4 GB RAM, and 3.35 gigahertz processor. <laughs> Already, eh? Okay, that, How that long is a, did that render for? Uh, 11 seconds for a really, long really time. good film. Eh. Or, uh, say 11 seconds. Uh -huh. I once rendered 11 seconds for a whole month. <laughs> and that means that, that oh, means yeah. that when I go home, oh. I, I don't shut down my computer at night. I let it render until morning. And I only shut down when I'm, I'm going to work. Mm -hmm. And when I get to work, if I'm doing some simple things like writing documents, I will render the animations for the whole day again and shut down when I'm going home and render again 24-7. Goja, if, if this was translated in, into DJ language, you know, when you download Ngoma, you download it, and it buffers for like, it's only three minutes, but yeah. it buffers for 20 minutes. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it, actually, the song <laughs> is three minutes long, but it buffers for a whole year. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you asked me about how I do it on phone, right? Uh -huh. So I started animation in uh, 2014. Mm -hmm. I was using the Ideas phone, mm -hmm. and it was an Android version 2.2, mm -hmm. and I was using a, a software called uh, SpaceDraw. Mm -hmm. 
and I could not model more than 1,000 vertices. Now, vertices are corners of a, of a quadrilateral or a, a polygon. So that's space draw, actually. Mm -hmm. So this is the first application I used on Android. Mm -hmm. And then after my computer crashed, mm -hmm. I remembered. I had to flash back to 2014 Aww. and 2016 when I moved to Android version 4.2.2. That was Samsung Galaxy. Mm -hmm. And uh, so... I decided to go back to modeling on phone because I never wanted to wait until I purchased a good computer and uh, strong and fast hardware for me to get back into animation. So I started modeling on different applications. So I used Space Draw. This is called Subdeformer or mm -hmm. SDF3D. And what I realized is that it's really fair on, on the demand it has on the hardware because it has been uh, made to work with the small RAM that a phone has got and also the small processor that, that a phone has. Mm -hmm. And I can actually animate something on phone. It, it, I don't think they understand how impressive that sounds because it, it looks like magic. And then he turns it, turns it, then twist it, twist it on, on his phone. It looks like he's playing a game, but it's not. It's, it's actually, it's, yeah. yeah, it's, it's a, eh, hey, we are sorry. Ah, yeah. Now, to to Kimaliza, mm -hmm. I, I would like you to maybe speak to someone out there. I yeah. would like that last message or, or the latter part of the message that Ukonataka mm -hmm. Kungoja until you had the proper resources, and I say that with quotes. Yeah. If you had a, an expensive laptop or, you know, all these resources that maybe are not available to the people we are talking to in the audience. Mm -hmm. But Ulianza too. And that's, that's important because yeah. I can tell you, me being number one, I am my, my worst enemy, let's say. I'm, I'm the one keep holding me back. And yeah. it's very frustrating. I have to fight myself every day. Mm -hmm. So how would you advise someone to to story think, just go ahead and, and do, I want to say the damn thing. Yeah, do the damn thing. So I've got this other <laughs> hobby apart from 3D mm -hmm. modeling and animation, which is called reading. Mm -hmm. And I read uh, several books. Like uh, I'm going to mention the last one I read, which mm -hmm. is the Five Second Rule by Mel Robbins. She says mm -hmm. you must have the courage to start. Mm -hmm. And every time you want to start, and your mind tells you you don't have this, you don't have that, you don't have that. Or are you going to succeed? Are you going to su sustain it? That is your body which is telling you not to because it has been designed to keep us safe from emotional and and physical and mental and, and mental turmoil. Mm -hmm. So you must have the courage to start. Mm -hmm. It does not matter what you've got. Like the South African uh, entrepreneur says, mm -hmm. his name is uh, Vusi Tembakwayo. Mm -hmm. He says, just start, okay? And it does not matter how, what you have and what you think you're, you're going to do, what you, where you are right now, just start. Mm -hmm. And Nike also, their slogan says... Just do it. Exactly. Hey. Just do it. Mm -hmm. So that's what Nike says. And looking at my story, I started animating on phone. I started 3D modeling on phone. And then I moved to computer and I started using industry standard software. Mm -hmm. And then my computer crashed. It was actually an Apple Mac, like the one the DJ is using. And so... After it crashed, I thought I should get a HP Z400, and that's gonna cost a whole lot, mm -hmm. and a graphics card that goes for ten thousand shillings. Mm -hmm. Now that mm -hmm. you know, what, what are you gonna do? Are you going to buy clothes? Are you going to are buy you, a graphics card? Are you card, going right? to eat or buy things? Like <laughs> exactly. So are you gonna wait until you get mm -hmm. that huge and expensive equipment? not to mention a render farm for you to start animating and modeling stuff? Mm -hmm. Or are you going to just get curious, a little bit curious, and Google applications that you can find on Android for free and animate stuff? Oh, that was so powerful. Gosh. Okay. What can you translate if you can such a side of DJ? DJ, you can ku DJ. You can use a deck or you can use a mungu. Did you have to wait when you were able to do that? Apana. I just learned to chini and I was able to do it. And I was able to do it with the machine. Did you get to do it with the DJ and you were able to do it with the DJ? How did you get to do it? I was able to do it with the DJ. Really? Yeah. Did you get to do it with the DJ? Yeah, I was able to do it with the DJ. So in short, you were able to do it with the DJ? Yeah, man. I like that. Mm.
Okay, so it is to my understanding that the interview was so sweet it ended too fast, but it's okay. Can we get you on social media? Definitely. Ha. Yeah, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Insta mm -hmm. at official Razaki. Mm -hmm. I've got to spell Razaki. R A Z A K I. Mm -hmm. At official Razaki on Facebook, Twitter, and Insta. And you can also find me on YouTube. My YouTube channel is called Razaki 3D. R A Z A K I space 3D. Mm -hmm. So that's where uh, this is just a snippet of what's there. So you can find. Uh, application analysis for Android 3D modeling and you can also find tutorials like this ones and time-lapse videos illustrating how I model stuff. Hmm. Mm. Okay. I'm so fascinated by Abdul. I don't think I've ever seen him in this kind of light. It's, it's very interesting. Bravo, interesting. Mm. Thank you for coming through. Thank you for having me as and well. And you. Thank you for watching. But you should not go anywhere because we are coming together to wish you a fantastic weekend in a couple of seconds. Don't touch that down.